We are fortunate to have options in the methods of laser correction that are available. The Excimer laser does the same correction with all techniques. It's the preparation of the procedure that differs. The outer layer of the cornea is the epithelium, much like the outer layer of our skin. This layer regenerates quickly, so reshaping it is of no value. So the options are either to remove the epithelium or lift it. Let's look at these one at a time. For many years at London Eye Center, we have done a surface procedure called photorefractive keratectomy, or PRK. We use no cutting uh, devices or abrasive contact with the surface. But in the case of PRK, we remove the surface layer of the cornea. We call that the epithelium. It's kind of like the skin of the cornea. We re remove that area in the center, and then the laser will ablate the area beneath that. A clear contact lens is placed on the eye to help keep it comfortable while the epithelial cells regenerate. This regrowth can take four to five days. About half the people who undergo PRK may experience enough discomfort to require pain management in the form of drops or oral medications, while virtually all patients will be light sensitive during initial recovery. In the case of PRK, recovery of the, uh, is a little bit longer than it is with intralase, insofar as the uh, epithelial layer must uh, re regrow. That takes three to five days. Once that's occurred, uh, the vision uh, is usually quite good, but may take another uh, week, 10 days, two to three weeks, depending on the degree of correction, to get to normal levels. However, most individuals following the complete healing of the epithelium are quite functional and are able to return to work. London Eye Center is considered to be one of the worldwide specialists in the PRK technique and has likely performed more PRK than any other single laser facility in Canada. We also do a procedure called intralase subbomans keratomalusis. Uh, we call it intralase SBK. Now in this case, this is a form of bladeless LASIK. For many years, it required a, a blade keratome to make a, uh, to slice a, a uh, flap of cornea. In this case, the, sub, uh, the intralase device using a, a laser called a femtosecond laser will actually create a flap with no cutting, uh, but merely ablating tissue beneath the surface of, of the cornea in a, in a thin, precise layer, which can then be reflected back and allow the same type of procedure as LASIK to be performed. There are some procedural risks that are exclusive to LASIK, including an incomplete flap or a buttonhole caused by the blade leaving a hole in the middle of the flap. Also, many patients are not candidates for conventional LASIK due to the thicker flap the blade cuts. For these reasons and other concerns, London Eye Center does not perform blade LASIK on our patients. The advantages of intralase are that it's uh, a procedure which allows quicker recovery. Uh, the patient will experience only mild to moderate discomfort the day of surgery. By the following day, most individuals have no discomfort whatsoever, and most individuals will see very well the next day, some extremely well. Others may take two or three days to recover, but return to function, work, etc. is very, very quick. Uh, often patients going within two to three days back at their normal function. The thinner flap allows many patients who are not candidates for blade LASIK to safely undergo a flap procedure. A laser-made flap also allows the surgeon to tailor the shape and size of the flap to the unique anatomy of every patient's eye. 